welcome to the wheel from our home. Why don't we just settle in and just dive into some girl chat? This one's yes, really yes. important, you guys. With so much happening right now, obviously, with coronavirus, it's easy to forget that it's actually an election year. And recently, our girl and former First Lady Michelle Obama, she decided to speak out on ways to make voting actually easier for everyone. Michelle posted this troubling picture from the recent Wisconsin primary, saying in part, no American should have to choose between their voice heard and staying safe. Expanding mm -hmm. access to vote by mail, online voter registration, and early voting are critical steps for this moment. And they're also long overdue. Now, Lonnie, when I saw this, I knew I just had to ask you, I know this issue is very, very, very important to you. And what are your thoughts on all of this? Well, you know, we're part of the um, When We All Vote organization, which is a nonpartisan organization um, spearheaded by Michelle Obama. And basically, after Wisconsin, um, there was an initiative that was actually put out by Senator uh, Kovachar to actually, it's called the um, National Disaster and Emergency Ballot Act. And what we're trying to do is make sure that voting is accessible, even though we have COVID-19. So we want to expand access to vote by mail. Uh, we want to expand access to early in-person voting. And we also want to have voter registration online. All of the states don't have this. So that's what I was going to ask that, you. How do we fix that? And in this time right now, how can we do that quickly? Well, hopefully, if you call your um, legislators, call your Congress people, call your senators, this ballot act, the National, Dis National Disaster and Emergency Ballot Act 2020, should help to incorporate those things. Because it doesn't make sense that we live in the United States. We should be able to vote no matter what. And we should be able to register online. So when we all vote is, is actually trying to work together with the senators to help this be possible. And all you have to do is go to whenweallvote.org and you can get more information. But really, it's just even without being in an organization, call your rep representatives and say, hey, I want to make sure that this act is passed because it does, I don't care what party you are a part of, you should be allowed to safely be able to vote. And, you know, viruses are going to come and go. So we yeah. have to start working on this now because yeah. we're a democracy. Your president votes by mail all the time. He actually said it. So why shouldn't all of us, if we want to be able to vote by mail, vote by mail, plus have early in-person voting, early, so that you don't have to wait in those long lines. We have to put measures together for this, and this is the purpose for that. And it's, imperative, and it's imperative that we acknowledge that in Wisconsin, there were specific measures made to limit the Black vote. And this is a very Impressive. constant, common issue in this country. You know, voter suppression and the voter, Voting Acts, right? I mean, the Voting Rights Act, et cetera, is still something that's continuously being fought for. So when we see that there's like uh, a, a, a neglect to bail out the, the United Postal Service, like that is an essential piece of us being able to vote absentee in this time of quarantine. So we got to make sure that we're looking at big picture and having Michelle create something like this is her saying, you know what? We may not no longer be in the White House, but we're going <laughs> to still be a part of y'all making sure you get who you want. Yeah, make the right the decisions. House. Yeah. 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 That is so true. I think I anyone that is against this is completely taking the saying vote or die to another level. Like you should not have to choose between voting and dying. Like those should not be your only options. You should absolutely be allowed to vote. And please remember who you're voting for. Oh yeah. And stick and stick absolutely. when you get into the ballot box. Don't just right. tell all your friends one thing and then go in there and do something else. Cause we counting on you. But also remember that in whoever ends up being the president will be the one in charge of policy and your health if this happens again. So just remember that who you're voting for will be the one deciding and figuring out how we deal with things like pandemics. 
you have to be able to be, you have to be a registered voter first. So right. that's why this initiative yeah. is so important. Online registration, a lot of you, nobody can go out now. Most of the states are on lockdown. Um, so to be able to have the online registration is important. Like I said, when we all vote.org is about we're not about party affiliations. We're not telling you who to vote for. We're trying to get every American to be registered to vote. What I like about this whole organization is that it shows the power of the people. It shows the grassroots effort. And this is what we're supposed to do to keep our democracy alive. So thank you, ladies, for letting me talk about it. No, it's so great. Yeah, it's so great. Of course. Are you kidding me? You're helping us. This is great. Mm -hmm. Necessary. <laughs> On a lighter <laughs> note. <laughs> So while in quarantine, a lot of people have turned uh, to small things to make their time a little more enjoyable or bearable at the very least. And 82-year-old Annette Muller, uh, for her, that was wine, vino. When she was close <laughs> to running out, instead of going out, she had to get a little creative. So she, she called for help by posting a sign in the door for her daughter that said, need more wine. <laughs> I also, by the way, saw a version of this that said, need more beer. Yeah. Uh, saw that too. Yeah. So Kelly snapped a photo, which has now been shared hundreds of thousands of times. And good news, Annette got her wine. Um, ladies, you know, Annette clearly is like, listen, wine is my focus. This is what I need. Um, and so this is what I'm going to put my priority into. Has there been anything that you guys have had that has been making your quarantine a little more bearable, enjoyable in terms of like, not people, but in terms of some types of, I don't know, I guess. Activity, something. Some escapism. Uh, uh, escapism. I've, I've been working out. That is oh. my, that has been my. I love your workout videos, Sam. But is there something that if you ran out of, if there, is there something right now that you're like rationing? Cause if you ran out of oh, it, you know. Well, I'm very happy we have a winery. So we do have wine. We have not. <laughs> run out of that we have an entire cellar of amazing wine wine that we haven't drank like in years so now we are we are pulling we are pulling that out so maybe yeah. maybe that is that is the advantage of 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 owning a winery during during this time we're not going out of that anytime soon. Yep. Man, if we and ever do i know how to make it so, but you know, hey, and your so, husband uh, is sending us all wine. All of the hosts yes, are sending so, us yes, wine. So, yeah, Mister, you guys know wine. You guys are all gonna get your rosé, Amanda. I gotta think of something. I, I gotta. Oh, get my mama, my mama gonna drink it. Something. Huh? My mama gonna drink it. Aww, awesome. That's really sweet, yeah. actually. She'll try and make something with it. Like, oh, I made, t I made tomorrow wine beef. You can make beef. popsicles with it, with this rosé. Like, a, a, it's huh? so good. We have recipes on the website. Oh, my God, that sounds so good. Are any of you guys getting into survival mode with what you're, like, whatever you're doing right now to get you through it? Are you going into survival mode where you're rationing it? Like, for me, it's, it's um, materials of reading or shows like right now I'm binging Ozark and then I'm also reading a lot of like my old favorite classics. So I'm afraid of not knowing how long this is going on and that I run out of great things to watch. Like I don't want to exhaust my Netflix then where ah, I had that and, feeling when I was writing in my journal yesterday, I was like, what if okay. I fill this up? What if I fill this <laughs> up? And then I'm gonna, I'll have to write in the top of the margins. Like I all of a sudden became the top Tom, of the margins. And Tom Hanks in Castaway. And I was like, I, I, and then, and then I saw on Instagram, like they had like kids activities on how you can make paper. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God. No, exactly. Okay. That's exactly what I'm talking I'm literally rereading pages of great books because I'm like, I don't want to finish this book. It's so good. So I'm going to savor the pages. And it makes me realize that when I read, when it's not a pandemic, I skim through, I, I, I kind of skim through it because I'm uh, thinking about it a lot of other things. So now when I'm rereading these pages, I've already read, I'm picking up so much stuff that's making me realize, yo, you ain't present when you're reading at other times. But right now, because you don't want this book to end, you're really listening to what the author is trying to tell you. You should start a book club on your Instagram. I know I should. And I should you're really going to stretch it out. One. You have speaking one. Of that, no, let me, speaking of that, this is what we were going to talk about was virtual, um, virtual oh, parties, virtual book clubs. So since we're talking about that, 
There was a, a article in the Atlantic where the woman said that virtual parties aren't like the real thing. And are we getting tired of that? The zooming parties and the virtual dates and things like that. So Jeannie, you know what Amanda's saying about maybe having a virtual book club. How do you feel about that? I, I absolutely am for any type of hangout to you, me and you have talked about this Tam. human connection. So whether it's FaceTime, hangout, Zoom, send me the link, I'm joining. Here's the problem. I realize that some things don't change. And in real life, I love, I don't know if it, it they call it the Irish goodbye. I love the reason yeah, to have an please. Irish goodbye. I love to peace out and not have to say, you guys, if we came to a party together and I left, you guys know I'm not disrespecting you. You know that I'm just out, right? So <laughs> in Zoom yes. or like this, if we all decided to have a dinner and this is it, you can't just up and bounce, Adrian. We just saw your butt leave. Like you can't just, no, you, you know, know how you do yeah. it. Let me show you yeah. how you do it. Amy. What do you do? Because I thought you have to make, you have to send. And oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Lonnie. You can't check out. You can't check out for no. I'm not, wait, she's gone. Wait. She wait, did. She that's she that's what's up for me. You just. But you, you just can't check, check out. out. That's the part that I don't like. I'm with I, you. So like, what do you do, Amanda? TV, my ADD and my introvertedness does not allow me to like be able to just, you know, like be on, 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 on. That's why they be murdering me in the damn comments on the real daytime because they're like, why does her face look like that? I'm like, I'm just trying to stay in it. We are in these little boxes. Focus. Just, just in our house in a box. Just trying yeah. to focus. Did y'all see my Irish goodbye? Yes, we did. Oh, girl, you full on wait, left. That was bad. Wait. 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 So Amanda, what is your solution? If it's not Lonnie's extreme peace out and bars, what is I mean, the solution then to get out of a Zoom? I think you have to really honestly like tell people from the from the get go. Yes. Like I got I got about got twenty it. minutes. Yeah. I got about twenty yeah. minutes in this. So if I'm if I vamp, I vamp. Like and that's okay, I think you have no excuse. Like, Where are you going? People know yeah, your butt is what? sitting at home. Like, oh, I have to go do this. Like before we used to yes. be able to get on mentally Zoom chat. Go, Abe. Mentally, you're like, yo, I'm good. But you now have to say that. Versus that before we had excuses. Problems. That you should said go, y'all. I'm getting tired. I always, you guys, I I have virtual um like happy hour. With my you with got my kids, Tamara. That's the Every life Thursday. of you. Yes, I was about to say. So I use my kid. Oh, is that a ride crap? Oh, oh, gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> it works. I just Every check single out. time. I just well, on that, out. even if I'm at a party, I just check in and out. Like I'll be at a party and be like, oh, I am mingled out, and I will go sit by myself and rejuvenate. Cancers understand this and rejuvenate. Yeah. And then I will re-enter the conversation. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have like that moment of of revitalization. 